What's up, everybody? Pe it's Tuesday. Wow, the weeks really just fly by, don't they? Well, we all know what that means. Welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. So good to have you here. In today's topic, we will be discussing architecture photography. of thoughts that I have when it comes to this being that I live in a massive city that has tons a whole hell of a lot of badass architecture that I've shot throughout the years in many different situations and scenarios so we're going to take you through a little bit of that today and just show you what I think when it comes to taking pictures of buildings and, and things of that nature so with that being said let's throw two minutes on the clock <laughs> Let's go. First things first, we wanna check out the vantage and the surroundings. So do a little survey, walk around the block, check it out from across the street. How does it look low? How does it look higher up? Something that might look mundane on the street when you get up close looks absolutely phenomenal. Like this shot right here, it looks like a UFO is coming down and just zip me away. Crazy. Getting that kind of wherewithal so that we know what we wanna photograph is the first step to taking a great photo. Sometimes the best vantage isn't the most obvious vantage that might just be head on. Beauty of architecture is exactly that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. These people are artists that are designing these buildings. It has a unique touch from the very person that designed it. So we want to find that and show it off using your creative skills and talents. Something I like to say is don't forget to look up, be it that that's outside or just walk in the building and look up as well. Sometimes these designers don't just make a crazy awesome looking building on the outside, they make it awesome on the inside too. Like this building for instance, I was going down an escalator, I looked up and boom, NASA headquarters. Yes, please. Framing buildings using other buildings. Just like we talked about in the composition video, using other buildings to frame the building that is the subject can be a super cool meta, if you will, way of approaching photography when it comes to buildings. Here's an example right here of two office buildings sandwiching the CN Tower with a little sliver in between that it just fits right, it's just perfect. Lastly is capturing the close-up details of these buildings. Some of them can only be seen when you are super close. Maybe it's the texture of some tiles that lie in one side. Maybe it's the whole building's texture in and of itself that you can't see from far away, but when you're close up, you can. Which leads me to my next point, which is the gear you're going to use. Wide angles are obvious. The wider, the better. That's always good. You want to have that if you're doing architecture photography, but maybe a macro lens is something you want to bring along too for those very details. The stuff that nobody sees far away. So have a good mixed bag of lenses. I wouldn't say just limit yourself to wide angle. Play around. Lastly is perspective. Taking advantage of the lens corrections and transform features of Lightroom can dramatically change for the better, sometimes for the worse, your photographs. Just hitting vertical on a photo like this will completely make that perspective straight on, which looks great. You get two blank spots in the corners, but if we're cropping this for Instagram, we're done. Thank you very much. Yes, please. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And the last thing I'll leave you with is the best part of architecture photography, which is the replayability that it has. I'll use a video game term here, but essentially that means you can just keep shooting it over and over and over with the change of seasons, the change of weather and sunset, sunrise, maybe if it's raining and the snow, these buildings look great all year round. So using your creativity and your personal style mixed with the surroundings constantly changing, you have a great opportunity, a great platform to practice and continue shooting awesome stuff. So get out there with your camera, go mess around, have a great time. Hit that like button if you like this video, smash it if that's, uh, if that's something that you're into. Subscribe if you aren't already and, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Shoot.